Yo ho, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's the new update, it's out, it's there, and they added a bunch of new stuff. If we take a look at, they added new cars, dude. Kinda makes me think, is this a survival game after all? I don't know, dude. But I already opened this once and I got a friggin' head from this thingy and i mean it looks cute but this is gonna expire after 30 days if i don't get two of them again so and they've added the pegasus car and of course the new drones which we're not gonna be rolling for because i'm broke i never roll for those anyways but today's video is how to efficiently do your dailies so that means your assistance quests, your NPC items, and how to actually finish them really quickly so you can just hop on the game, finish them, do your dailies, and hop off. Because obviously, you know, some of you probably take so long to do those. Um, yeah, let's do that right now. So obviously when you log in, you will have 600 vigor, and you don't want to have 600 vigor because if you empty your vigor, you get lots of XP, like as you can see, 100, 209, 261, 3660, that's good XP, and while you chop things, your vigor burns down, and so many people don't empty their vigor out, I know it can be so annoying to do so, but actually, you should empty your vigor, because you get gather XP, and when you, you know, level up your gather, gather is the most crucial um, level, in here why it's because for example if you have the highest gather that means your dailies are going to give you more xp when claiming them so for now as you can see i get 130k gather from this now i get 260k gather from this that is because i am 60 gather if i was 70 gather these dailies would give me way more xp because the xp scales up probably you already most of you already know this the reason is don't miss out your vigor like don't keep this you know at 600 every single day because you're missing out like 20 to 30k xp per day maybe even more maybe less i don't know but uh yeah it's just a crucial thing obviously you want to have a pendant because if you don't have a pendant you get well less xp well, farming, this is really low though, like 5 XP is almost nothing, like 5 to 10 more XP, but I mean, it's still something. So obviously when you log in, you do that, you empty your vigor. First thing I like to do is go to Summer Rain Highway, which is where I am right now, and just mine rocks. Why mine rocks, may you ask? Because if you mine rocks and you burn your vigor at the same time and there's a NPC item here, which is the rock that you get for mining rocks. Doesn't necessarily have to be Summer Rain Highway, but it depends what mass you need. So if you need Iron Ores or whatever, you know, you can go here or you can go to Fall Forest. But right now, when you do come to Summer Rain Highway, there's supposed to be these thingies built and then, you know, you can just go to the river quickly. Make sure I got my glow stick on so I can see where rocks are. So I'm just going to be mining rocks until I reach the river, just like that. You don't have to run anywhere else. Now there's 18 special items in the game now, which can be fished since as of the new update. So NPC items are, you know, way easier now than they were before. Now I'm having trouble getting this rock. Um, It's actually not really worth, you know, getting these NPC items by rock or hemp or logging because it takes quite a while time. It takes so long to do that. But you can see my vigor is just fading. Like I'm getting lots of XP for just mining these rocks. And obviously when I get to 200 vigor, I'm not going to be mining these rocks anymore because I don't need that. I'm just here for the vigor. And you know, in addition, we are burning our vigor and trying to get the NPC item. But many people do it like this. They just focus on NPC items and their vigor is like zero or something. Or they just do it inefficiently. I'm not getting lucky on the NPC item here, but there's a fishing item in Summer Rain Highway. So if you go to the river here and you fish, then you will get a NPC item called License Plate. Now in the description, I will show you a full list of NPC items. There we go. We got it just like that. And now since this is built here, we can literally just use it and quickly navigate through. No need to like run. And this is a great thing. Actually, if someone builds it like this, kudos to them for doing that. Because you don't have to walk, you don't have to drive, and it's really fast. Sadly, we didn't get the NPC item from the rock, so that sucks. But our vigor is at 440 now. So now we can go to Fall Forest. Fall Forest is probably the easiest zone for gathering NPC items. There's a tree NPC item, which I always get from the first tree chopped down all the time. See? It's just, it's just there, dude. Always get it. So always do Fall Forest. It's really, really easy. I don't know why. 
maybe it's just my luck but and i normally get like the rock npc item after like two three rocks so it's so easy and there's a hemp npc item obviously we want to get that but all the mostly all the times fall force is crowded and if you can try to switch the lines so it gives you a fresh new zone i'm sure everyone knows about fall forest npc items but if you still don't these are the npc items we got the hammer just like that now we need two more there goes the rock boom got it all we need now is just him also make sure you buff speed buffs here while doing this because this might take a little bit of time i didn't bring my speed buffs but you can eat lemon or coffee you know it just gives you movement speed and you can just finish things faster now obviously i have a bike but i don't use it for some reason here because you have to get off the bike you have to get on the bike and it takes so long i'd rather just run on foot but the hemp item is probably the hardest in fall forest sometimes i get it from the first try but i'm getting unlucky now and obviously to check if you got the item you go to your system channel and it shows what items you got i didn't get the hemp item yet so it's probably gonna take my whole day to get that hemp item. But you know, if you can't get it and you just... You should probably just leave because the chances if you don't get the item or whatever other item is taking so long, just leave. It's better. So I just solve jam like this. And because I'm, there's no time, it would be faster for me to just, you know, solve jam than go to the heli. So I'll do that. You get teleported back to the helicopter. And after that, I'm going to go to Claire Sky Wheatfield. Now, we're not doing any assistance quests yet. These are not worth to do yet because we want to do them in high level zones for the maximum experience possible. And in the clear sky weed fields, there's a hemp item. I'm just going to try to get the hemp item. All right, there we go. We got it. And then after you do get it, then all we have left is this fish. So let's fish quickly. I'm not going to even use auto fishing because manually fishing is faster. You don't always get it, but I'd rather just manually fish it than auto fish it. Because if I auto fish it, it can fail or something. All right, there we go. We got it. So clear sky weed fields is done. Go back to the heli. And now we're going to go to wolf hunting field. There are three NPC items in wolf hunting field. Hemp, rock, and fishing. So I'm going to try to get hemp first because obviously it's the closest to me. Let's try to get it. Hemp, hemp, hemp. Whatever's the closest, that's what I will go for. And there's a rock here. Obviously, we want to mine it. Now, it also depends what time you go to the zone to. If I go to a nine game time, obviously, it's going to be filled with mats and everything or resources, should I say. Because people are sleeping or, you know, not playing at this time. But since I live in a different time zone, that's very useful for me. But anyways, we didn't get a hemp item or rock, so I'll, I'm just going to fish quickly. Also, you can upgrade this skill right here. This makes uh, out of fishing faster, I guess. You can max it out if you love out of fishing. Anyways, we already got the item from Wolf Hunting Field. So now there's two items left here, and our vigor is sitting at 348 out of 600. So we could try getting the hemp item or the rock. But as you can see, it's kind of rare. I'm not getting anything. So might as well just leave. There's no point gathering it over and over and stressing yourself out. Some zones odds are kind of messed up and I feel like it's bugged for some of them. Okay, right, there we go. We got the hemp item and lastly, I need the rock. Hopefully I can get it this time. And obviously you don't want to gather with a full inventory like I am right now, but I have to go back to the camp and just deposit stuff. Yeah, don't do the same mistake as me. Always like empty out your storage. And if this rock doesn't give me the item, I'm leaving. And it did. Haha. -ha. Nice. So we're currently at 918 NPC items. Let's go back to the camp. We got the hemp, the fishing, and the rock now. Very nice. So go back to camp because we have to put everything away. All right, next thing we go to is river area. Close to the wolf hunting field. Very similar to wolf hunting field, actually. And the NPC items are way easier there. Because there's a logging NPC item. And there's also a assistance quest here. And you want to take a look at this first. What tasks it gives and what XP it gives. Obviously, if it gives the max XP. Also, the max XP depends on your gather level. But the only way to check what max XP it gives is... I will tell you guys in a sec. Just keep watching the video. But um, this, these tasks look very easy. So I'm going to quick accept this. And obviously, while we do the assistance quest, we can do the NPC items. So just, you know, it's very easy. The NPC items in here is hemp, logging, 
and fishing. So yeah, we gotta save the survivors just like that. Nice. Then we click on the task, we click track whoever is the closest task. Obviously, you want to do that when claiming the tasks so you can see which is the closest task. That kind of saves time, but I'm going to try to get the NPC item real quick. All right, there we go. We got it. Peach Branch is the NPC item for this zone. And uh, here, we have to give 10 berries to this guy. And the problem is, I don't have 10 berries. But what you could do is look for a deposit box looking like this, which is right over here. Look for that, and then we click Use. And click collect and whatever if you have berries in your you know storages in in your base you can obviously just look around and grab the 10 berries out but uh i don't have berries so that's the problem here and there we go i found the berries this took me so long dude claim to backpack and we claim the 10 berries from the deposit box faster could be just go to the base but i mean whatever i'm too lazy to do that all right that task is done now all we need is a hemp item and this test seems to be too far. But let's use this slip rope. Yoink. Yeah. Kind of satisfying to use this. And finish this task here. Let's kill all these folks. And then we're going to try to get the fishing item and then the NPC item. Nicely done. This is done, done, done. All we gotta do now is get the hemp and fish. Another slip rope for me right over here. Very nice. Ooh, that doesn't look really well. But okay. Fine by me. Thanks to those who made these things. Thanks to those who made these things. I like it. Alright, let's fish now. And now we wait. Done. We got diary. Which I have two of them now. And no, guys, you can get only one NPC item per day. I have two just because I didn't exchange them yesterday. And there's a hemp item. Let's grab this. I'm not going to bother looking around for more hemp items. So I'm just going to leave. Unless if I run into some more hemp items. And of course, I will grab them because why not? So there's one more here. And we got it. See? That's pretty cool. Pretty nice. So we have got all three items from this zone. Now we can leave so now um let's slow down a little and click on the daily tab and check our daily affairs we check out the three time map swamp border that is the map that gives me three times the duty and the mastery points so we click this and that's where we have to go right over here and it glows on the map and also when you open your map it shows timed assistance so this is the map you have to go for that assistance quest it's very easy you don't even actually have to check your daily affairs so let's go to swamp border there are two gathering npc items in swamp border rock and fishing the last one isn't gathering it's just combat so we're going to skip that we're getting only gathering items because that's what we just need. So I'm just going to try to get... Ooh, we just got it from the first rock. That's nice. That's nice. So the time assistance quest is right over there. We're just going to go to the water. Yoink the fishing item out of the water. And then we're going to do the assistance quest. Make sure you don't run into any of these uh, believers. Because, man, if you're low level, they're going to destroy you. Like me. I'm just level 60. They do a lot of damage to me. Let's fish here. And here goes our NPC fishing item. Old world sculptures. Scriptures. My bad. Anyways. Sorry, I just woke up, guys. It's alright. So now we got the assistance quest. Obviously, you don't want to miss that. You want to do that. Three times duty points. Three times mastery points. We, of course, want that. There they are. Claim the task from them. And the task might be hard. But uh, you have to do them regardless. Because that's a lot of XP that you get. So the closest task is those two. So we're going the right way. Okay, so we gotta grab a torch. Gotta do some cleaning up. Let's put this here. Leave me alone, zombie. Leave me alone. And one more here. And one more here. That's it for that. Next task is this one. I'm gonna go for that one. And we have to repair the statue. All right, cool, cool. We'll do that. No problemo. And we got the last task now. now. Obviously, you can use a bike if you want to. Again, I just like to run on foot. We got to help them out. Patch up. And lastly... Oh, this one's kind of far away. Out of the circle, dude. What the hell? That's weird. All right, we finished all the tasks and we can literally just leave. So I'm just going to put my bike down because we're going in a straight line. 
So obviously we want to use a bike. I don't think we can drive through this. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. Rest in peace. I'm gonna reset vehicle. Do this. I hate that, actually. These barricades, man. Bikes are so glitchy when you're driving up or like in a mountain or something. We can drive through these rails. Uh, sometimes it gets glitched, but I just don't care, dude. I, I just risk it for the biscuit. I just drive through these rails and fences and everything, whatever you can think of. Anyways, we're full inventory again, so I'm just gonna yoink some items in. In my pack drone, um, kind of trash items, but I don't care. Items are items. I have way too many tools, by the way that's fine okay so now since we are close to 18 items what we're going to do now is we're gonna go to levin city another thing you want to do guys is very important extremely important is this right here gameplay preference settings this is the stage you choose that you get daily tasks for so for example if you choose challenge stage you won't get levin city's faction battle in this today's objective because if you if you don't choose this let's say you choose the lone gun and every single day you will have a task to do 11 city faction battle you don't want 11 city faction battle unless you do do it but i don't do it so i'm on challenge stage that's what you should have too if you don't want 11 city faction battle of course so just get that now if we take a look i have to complete three mouse swamp assistance quests so make sure we do that and yeah let's go to mouse swamp i guess right now um we will go to live in a little bit later now the reason why you have to complete all these five tasks here is because when you complete all of this one two three four five for five days straight every week you will get the duty star title which is this right here obtained by completing a total of five days of daily objectives in daily valid for a week during which time you gain five percent more mastery from duty chest okay so once you equip the duty star title you'll get five percent more xp every single day from your duty boxes that sounds like nothing but believe me that's a lot so in mouse swamp there is three npc items hemp rock fishing i'm gonna try to get the hemp item first because i see hemp i get him if not that's all right that's all right and while we uh gather these i'm just gonna go to the assistance quest so we're like multitasking low-key there's no items around me make sure your glow stick is always on just for increased vision because many people don't know about that that glow stick increases your vision and minimap we got hops dude come on i want my npc item now again if you're low level watch out for the crocodiles dude those are pretty annoying all right, and we are at the assistance quest. We didn't get any NPC item, which sucks. But help the vagabonds wipe up the infected. It seems like easy quests, so we have to do them anyways, because it says to finish them in the today's objective mouse swamp assistance quest. So let's do that. Let's check the tasks. This is the closest one, so let's go do the closest one first. Obviously, we don't want to be running around 300 meters and then going back, back and forth like this, dude. You know, while well, we can just go like this, this, and this, you know. You know what I mean, guys. You know what I mean. Right, we gotta wipe these zombs real quick. Last one right here. And there's one more right over here. 360 yoink. Alright, nice. And then we have tracked this one a little bit closer than that one we had. So I'm not going to be doing any NPC items in the mouse swamp just because it's trash. Um, I don't like mouse swamp, but you have to run all the way there to get the fishing item, which is not worth in my opinion. So I'm not going to do that, dude. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, no. Let's get some ammo in. You ain't this bad boy. -o. Come here, wolfies. I got some snacks for ya. And one more down right there all right we're done that was pretty quick let's go finish the last one actually i'm gonna grab a couple npc items i'll try at least camp item at least oh my god i'm on fire oh no and we're gonna try to get the rock i don't know just give me something game give me something anything come on dude now see this is why i don't like farming in mouse swamp especially because this stupid mod slows you down so i'm just done i'm gonna finish this last quest and we're gonna go out all right, we have to give mats to this guy. Just one bread jam is enough. All right, we're done here. Everything is completed. And now I can do two more assistance quests. Nine plus six, 15. So we're going to go to Levin City. We're not doing any assistance quests there, by the way. We're just going to get NPC items from there. Levin City battle starts every one hour, which means 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You get it. So... What you could do is always go to Levin City at like, let's say, 
10 game time and then you have 10 minutes to complete your NPC items. And when the Levin City faction battle ends, let's say like it has one minute left, you just go in there and that's it. It gets completed. So we found Helena Wayne. Talk to her and she will give you a free NPC item. Helena Wayne is located right over here at Refugee A. So you can literally just go in the house, teleport to Refugee A, and then you literally just claim the NPC item from her. And there's a fishing item in Levin City, so we fish that. And then we're ready to go to get the third item. Helena Wayne doesn't spawn during nighttime, by the way. She spawns only during daytime. So let's get this fishing item now. Yeah, see, the Levin City faction battle starts in 10 minutes. But it starts in 10 minutes. It hasn't started yet. And it starts exactly at 10 game time. So you can come at like 10.05. Go to any faction battle. Make sure it's blue, though. And then, yeah, you stand there until it ends and you get the free points. And of course, it will count in today's objective, too. So let's go to Refuge D. That's where Vanglan is, whatever his name is. That dude who gives you a free NPC item, too. Now, it's kind of actually hard to locate him. But on the screen here, I will show you guys where you can find this NPC in Levin City. So there you go. Those are the locations of where you can find them. Now, it's daytime. This is where he might be but i don't think he's gonna spawn here also this npc is kind of like a waste of time because i'd rather be doing you know fishing npc items than just looking around for this npc my bike's gonna get stuck i don't like using bike here by the way and there he is he just spawned on top of this car so we talk to van langland and take the npc item he gives so that's three key from fishing helena Talk to Helena for Gather XP and talk to Van Langland for this Gather item. So we have completed all of our special items just like that today. Easy peasy. Obviously, what you can do now is if you still haven't completed or you didn't get lucky, what we can do is go to Mount Snow for Fishing Item, Hemp Item and Rock Item, Snow Highlands for Fishing Item, Rock Item and Log Item, and yeah, that's six items or two fishing items. And I'm still missing one. Like, I'm still missing one. So I'm going to go to Mount Snow or Snow Highlands and fish that one item. All right, so when you do complete everything in Levin City, go back to the house and talk to this guy, Refugee A. And that is the fastest way to teleport or fast travel, I should say. We're going to go to the heli now. Since I'm near Levin City, I'm going to first go to Levin Dawn, which is here. Proceed. We're going to do two assistance quests there, which are extremely easy and they give you the biggest XP. Or should I say the max XP. So once you enter Levin City Dawn, we put down the bike and let's roll. Make sure you don't hit these guys because if you do, rest in peace. Talk to this boy and 58800. And this is the XP it gives 58800 for me. I think this is the max. Levin Dawn always gives you the max XP from these assistance quests. So don't worry about the XP you gain. Quick accept this. And the quest are very easy. You go here through that thingy right there. And it spawns a statue that you got to repair like this. So we repair that. And then check the task here. We got to save the survivors. The three survivors. Like these and these. And this last one is we got to take a picture of the castle. Now I should have used my bike here to be faster, but that's fine. I'll just run and we go picture mode. Take a picture of that. Oh, 61 combat. Hello. And yeah, we run back now to the house and teleport to Scientia. Open up. Talk to this bad boy. -o and refugee Scientia proceed. And this task is even way more easy because it's fast, convenient, gives lots of XP, and it's literally finished under like a minute. I really love these assistance quests, by the way. So talk to this guy, claim the tasks, and we got to measure the water and take a pick of the land crawler, which is this guy. Take a pick, and we got to kill zombies here. Use a gel or a flamethrower, whatever you got. If you don't, then just use a shotgun, obviously. And let's loot these guys. And complete. Last thing we gotta do now is measure the water. That's really easy. Easy lemon squeezy. We walk here, measure, and once we do finish that, we can solve jam. Solve jam like this. And while you do that, you're going to get teleported back here 
and that is it. Your dailies are completed in a hour. And obviously, if you want to do rebuilds, yeah, do those because those are important. You can also do rebuilds and at the same time do NPC items. So if you're doing Highland Factory, Snow Highlands, go do your rock, fishing, logging, you know, you can do all of these together. But everything is complete here for me. I completed the assistance quest. Uh, one NPC item left for me, but that is easy to get. I'll just go to, let's say, Mount Snow and go do fishing item once. Let's do that right away. Alrighty, here goes. Our last NPC item for today, tech bracelet. Everything is complete, assistance, NPC items. All we gotta do now is bounty hunt, Far Star City treasure hunt. Um, those are like optional, but the Far Star treasure thingy, when you get 100 blood diamonds a day, it's actually cool because look at this rewards. You get. You can get shards, you can get fenders, uh, mods or whatever, and you do get nano. Um, you get 4k gold bars, that's pretty nice. It helps a lot. Make sure you don't miss furniture recycle because drumsticks is vigor and vigor is important. Now, if you check, my vigor is on 200. So when your vigor is on 200, what you can do is go to your camp. And when you go to the camp pond, you can fish here 40 times. Now, 40 times is 400 vigor. So once you catch 40 fish, that is the maximum you can catch per day in your camp pond. So let me just show you. Let's say we catch this one fish. And as you can see, Vigor cost 10 out of 400. And we got some gather XP from that. 231. So yeah, that's a cool thing to know, you know. Because fishing removes 10 Vigor. And one, it's it kind of takes a little while to empty your Vigor from 200 to 0. So I'd rather just fish and camp on. But yeah, just always make sure you check daily affairs. Do what is needed to be done. You have to get your duty star title, guys. If you don't get that duty star title, your XP is going to be missing out a little. And obviously save these drumsticks because they do help you with gathering XP. Of course, you got to do your rebuilds. Of course, don't forget Nancy, all of these important thingies. Even the camp shooting practice, do that because it gives you a little bit of combat XP. Bounty Hunt 2, it gives you gathering XP, 16k and combat XP. It's actually not a lot, but it does help. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Hope this helps and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.